How cool is that? Well, actually it's pretty cool, but how cool we're going to find out in a second. Hi, I'm Matt and this is Not Enough Tech. I've got my hands on a 52 Pi cooling tower thanks to the Seed Studio. I'm gonna include the links in the description of the video for you. I have to say, this cooling tower makes your Raspberry Pi look like a beast. Now, Raspberry Pi runs quite hot. How hot? You can find out in this video where I use this power board also from 52 Pi to uh, perform a couple of benchmarks and see what is the cooling performance with this board. Despite the impressive looks, uh, this cooling tower isn't perfect. First of all, you cannot control LED colors. The colors are randomized and there is not much you can do about it. Second of all, the 40mm fan has no RPM controls, which means you won't be able to control the speed of the fan or, to be honest, you won't be able to even turn it on and off without modding. This heatsink can be mounted on Raspberry Pi 4 or Raspberry Pi 3B+. Unfortunately, you cannot mount this on all the Raspberry Pis because they do not come with that heatsink, that metal heatsink that covers the processing unit. The heatsink itself comes with a fixed RPM 40mm fan and no controls to RGB LEDs as well. At the moment, all you can do is just plug it into a 5V and ground and let it spin forever. The colors are randomized, so you won't be able to control it. However, it will provide you with a really nice effect. Now, it's obvious that you won't be able to use any hats as well, because that heatsink, it's going to be a crown on top of your Raspberry Pi. Let's take a look and see how cool it is and how efficient it is comparing to the power board in cooling Raspberry Pi 4. To stress test the CPU and to rise the temperature, I'm going to use again the a53 CPU burn test. Without any cooling, Raspberry Pi sits at around 50 degrees. Thanks to the heatsink and the fan or spinning at 100%, that temperature goes down to about 30 to 31 degrees. Now, during the test, I was able to keep the temperature steady at around 45 degrees, which is a 5 degree improvement over the power board. Now it's clear that this heatsink can dissipate a lot of power, which makes it a perfect solution if you are going to attempt to overclock Raspberry Pi 4. If you just want to keep it cool, you can even keep it without the fan spinning. That should keep the CPU temperatures around 45 degrees. So what do you think, guys? Are the all disadvantages of this fan worth it? Now, the fan itself is pretty impressive and it's nice looking, but there's a couple of things I really would like to add. I'd like to be able to control a LEDs and I would like to be able to control the fan and the fan speed as well and that's a subject for the next video. And for all of you eagle-eyed viewers you probably noticed that the color on this fan does not change meaning that I've already done that all I had to do is just put the video back together for you so that gives you a great reason to subscribe to my social media channels to get the notification because I do not have a posting schedule so if you're interested head back to the description of this video and follow me on social media or use YouTube uh, to follow me as well as for now guys I'm gonna say thanks for watching and I'm gonna see you in the next video take care bye <laughs>